What's happening peeps and peepets? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video we are going to take a closer look at what is inside the Emperor's lock box. Now I am here at obviously at the testing server because I really don't want to pay for all of these items by myself. Open lock boxes, use keys and stuff like that. But this is what Cryptic has um, brought out like a couple of, no, not a couple, last week. So this is the new Emperor's Lockbox, or at least the current Lockbox. Now, if you go into more details, um, we can actually see what the content of this Lockbox is. Now, there is going to be a review about this Dreadnought Cruiser uh, that is going to come. This is the Stinks? Stinks? Sykes? Sykes? I don't know how to pronounce that, but the Terran Dreadnought. Um, so that's the grand prize if you, um, you know want to open a bunch of these lock boxes you can definitely go and try out your luck to obtain one of these things and if you and if you don't feel lucky just go over to the exchange that would be my personal advice to you if you're really wanting to have that ship just buy it with ec but that's always up to you um so there is going to be a universal console, the approaching agony. This console deploys a device that chases the enemy ship and detonates, uh, detonates near it, releasing a field of agony that follows after the closest foe. The agonizing, the agonizing hazard uh, deals phaser damage and causes disruption to enemy ship crew. Now that noise that you guys heard, there is just somebody me PMing me. I'm really sorry if that is you, but I'm currently doing a video, so I cannot respond. Um, so there is also going to be uh, traits that are going to be uh, available. Three for ground, three for space, in total of six, uh, which each contain a new trait unlock. Captains may only uh, open each packet once, so you can only have one copy of these basically now i'm going to go all the way uh i'm going to display you i'm going to show it to you guys like the ground and also display it in space if there is going to be any visuals hopefully we are going to be able to show that so we got for ground we have the turn vision show no weakness and make an example that is all three for ground and for space we have Terran targeting systems no retreat no mercy and into the breach um <laughs> kind of funny just to, to you know just to see what these are going to be able to do but yeah we'll see also kit module one of three universal kit modules can be obtained each offering a new ground combat ability these kit modules can be used in any profession so it doesn't actually matter which profession you're going to use engineering tactical or science so we have a deploy agony field ambush turret fabrication or uh yeah, ambush turret fabrication or the emperor's execution spinner that is basically that uh small disc that uh, in the tv show the discovery that the emperor actually throws um and kills off all of her lieutenants all of her you know enemies that were near her it's kind of fun to see if they actually incorporated the same animation in the uh, in the game that's kind of nice uh, duty officer assignments, uh, so there are five different one um, assignments contains a research assignment on various Terran research uh, subjects. Each assignment yield high XP values and dilithium rewards, completing all of the assignments to receive a title of a cadre of special duty officers. Oh, okay. To receive a title and a country oh okay so two basically two things so you're going to get a, a new title so there should be accolades involved with these now there are five different ones and also special duty officers very nice i like that uh completing all the sides of a critical success will review another title and even more duty officers <laughs> all right so in total i'm guessing five of the each of them and so if you complete the normal one you're going to get accolades so that's five normal accolades and also on critical success five other accolades so in total 10 accolades there are going to be available let's see what more we're going to get 
Turn Discovery Weapon Opening Inch Pack presents you with a choice between Phaser Beams, Phaser Cannons, Disruptor Beam and Disruptor Cannons. All Turn Discovery Weapons have three varieties, Resilient Linked, which gives you five, plus five Ablative Plating, plus five Engineering Readiness, uh, Focus Linked, which gives you plus five Shield Hardness and plus five to Science Readiness. Or targeting linked, which gives you plus five accuracy and tactical readiness. All weapons contained within these crates are purple quality and um, contain a special passive mentioned previous in addition to other random modifiers. Wow. Okay. So these are just basically just like the discovery sensor linked. Uh, so these are like different ones that are going to give you engineering readiness, tactical or scientific readiness. So basically a uh, cooldown reduction to your uh, bridge officer abilities in engineering, science or tactical. I like that. Um, additional every turn discovery weapon box uh, comes with a chance of also granting a special emperor's... Oh my god. Another freaking vanity shield. Oh man, there are 36 of the vanity shields in the game. Come on. 37 now? Jesus. This needs to stop, man. These are these guys are like This is just too much. 36 different types of shields that you can equip on your ship. People, that is just too much, too much choice. Uh, this vanity shield will change the appearance of the ship's hull. Um, it's equipped it on to match the stinks. Sinks. Hull appearance. This shield cannot be equipped in a non-vanity slot. Slot. Oh my god. So basically, what says here? My videos are going to be longer, <laughs> and they're already long enough. Uh, also, a, a random extra large and large boost package, which may contain one of the following: so fleet credits, bonus pool stuff, bonus pool, bonus two, um, dilithium mining claim. That's nice. Uh, experience bonus pool, experience catalysts are always nice if you want to upgrade stuff. And salvage tech can be used in R and D, research and development pack. Mm, yeah, that's normal stuff. In addition to all, to one of the above, every Emperor Lux box contain a Terran fortune cookie <laughs> and a random amount of low buy crystals, uh, minimum of four, which can be traded um, in for additional prizes. Select uh, the low buy crystals and use to access this vendor. Yada yada yada. Drizana, you can go there and see that. Now, obviously, I have obtained the shield. I know. I know. I was a little bit overreacting, but I, that was my first thought about when I actually read that there is going to be the same. Um, the reaction that I had, I needed to give you guys because this is just this is personal opinion over here. This is too much. We have 39 different, uh, 37 different uh, visuals that we can equip on the on, on our shields. That is just too much choice. That is like insanity right there. But anyway, um, first of all, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of all of these traits. Now, this is everything that. Um, was in the lock box including this one this is not from the lock box this is from the Lobai store the emperor's sword uh, basically a melee weapon for ground this should be here because these are the ground traits but anyway the uh, space traits so we are going to go to more details now this thing is called the Terran targeting systems plus 15 critical severity incoming critical hit uh, reduces your speed by 10% Wait a minute. Incoming critical hits reduces your speed by 10% for 5 seconds. And also plus 15 to critical severity right away. Ooh. I know what you guys are going for. <laughs> but when you are going to get critically uh, critically hit, it's going to reduce uh, your, your traveling speed 
by 10%. Now, it doesn't say anything about turn rate. So just, you know, the forward momentum of your ship, what it is going to be able to go from point A to point B is going to be redu uh, reduced by 10% for five seconds. That's, you know, that's... That is definitely good if you want to sacrifice, you know, your speed for plus 15% in critical severity. So we are definitely going to open that one. All right. So the next one in line is no retreat, no mercy. Plus 25 damage resistance rating everywhere but rear arc. Minus 25 damage resistance rating against attacks on the rear arcs what does that mean everywhere but the rear arc resisting a rating against attacks okay so plus 25 uh damage resistance rating so to the left of your ship the forward of your ship and the right of your ship but not at the rear of your ship so this is basically resistant okay and the same goes to minus damage resistance rating against attacks on uh, the uh, rear arc. So this is basically towards your enemy if you're positioning your ship at the rear of your arc. If I'm reading this correctly, guys, comment section below is all yours if I'm not reading it correctly. And I'll make sure to pin your comments on the top so people can actually understand what we, what is going on up here. No retreat, no mercy. This is the trait. Also going to open that one. Uh, the last one for space. Killing an enemy debuffs nearby enemies damage resistance rating by 7 per rank of slain enemy. Last 8 seconds the stronger penalty applies. What, is it, what does that mean by, per rank? Per rank of the enemy? So you got like... If I compare it to, uh, if I compare it to like uh, for ground, so you get like ensign, you get like lieutenant, you get like you know lieutenant commander, uh, commander, and what's the other one? I think I have them somewhere here. My bridge officer stations. Yeah, so you got like an ensign that's number one. So you got an, a lieutenant. And then you have lieutenant commander and then a commander and then like a captain and maybe like an end boss or something like that. Uh, no, that's the uh, wrong one. This one. So rating by seven per rank. So let's say you have like a group of enemy that are like usually like a couple of them are like low rank and then there is like a captain between them. So, okay, so it's going to last for eight seconds. And killing an enemy will debuff the entire nearby enemy's damage resistance by 7. Nice. I like that for uh, for space. That's cool. That's cool. Usually you have like, you know, uh, more than one enemies to kill. So that's, that's nice. All right. So uh, we also have these as the linked weapons. Uh, now, actually, I'm going to do this the trait uh, first. The ground traits are next. More details. Plus 25 damage resistance rating everywhere but rear rank. Okay, so basically the same that we had for, for space are going to be applied for ground as well. And this one is only... Uh, um, uh, there is a different title up here, so it's named Show No Weakness. And this is for uh, the um, ground version. All right, what is this? More details. Uh, ground trait, make an enemy, killing a nearby. Uh, okay, so this is that thing, the plus seven per rank that you're going to slay that's going to last eight seconds. Uh, we just talked about it for space. Now, this is definitely the same as foreground. And the last one is critical severity. Um... And also, if you're going to be critically hit, you're going to reduce your speed by 10%, which is definitely useful if you're, you know, if you're standing still, basically, and you're doing plus 15 critical severity, it doesn't really matter if you're going to lose speed if you're, <laughs> if you're standing still, basically. So that's nice. That is definitely cool. Um... So those were the traits. Um, the kit modules... Let's open a couple of them. Death spinners, that's whoa. Can we get the other one? There we go. So we got a couple of death spinners right here. 
discard, discard, and this is all three of them. So go to more details. Not no, not upgrade more details, please. Uh, so these are the new kit modules, ambush turret fabrication, uh, beaming two additional, uh, two ambush turrets, which are primed and ready to unload a hail of sweeping phaser fire on foes. Ambush turrets are equipped with a full auto sweep that saturates a large area with phaser energy weapon fire rapid, uh, rapidly hitting multiple targets in a cone can... Uh, and also can expose targets. Uh, hits have a chance to proc a agony a damage over time effect. Ooh, I want to see that. I definitely want to see that. So creates two level sixty ambush turrets for the next fifteen. Fifteen seconds. That's a lot. That's not a lot though. I wonder what the what the cooldown is of this thing. Uh, to the enemy in the thirty degree arc. 30.3 phaser damage times 10. So this is definitely full auto sweep rapid fire. <laughs> this is going to kill the enemy doing 60, uh, no, 86.7 damage per second with a 5% chance on the hit plus 5, 5.5 uh, phaser damage per second with 100% shield penetration. Ooh, so it's going to bypass the entirety of the shield and it's going to kill the enemy really fast i love that let me equip this thing right away um death spinner so this is like an abbreviation of uh what was it the click at thrower knife ear thingy if i have it still in my inventory somewhere mm. no i don't think so but you guys know what i mean the click at is that thing that you throw that was really, really nice when K13 came out and then they nerfed it. And all right, so this sophisticated piece of machinery is built to follow a specific parabolic arc when throwing in a sufficient force or with, with, in, uh, with uh, sufficient force. It will arc out in front of the thrower, dealing a high amount of physical damage to those in a wide arc and turning and then returning to its owner. The operator must remain stationary during the process to ensure the weapon can be probably caught uh, at its uh, terminus. Okay, so basically a boomerang and you need to stay in the same position when this thing is going to come back. What happens if you're not at that location, I wonder? Does it like have like a penalty? Does it go like in? Uh, does it give you like a higher uh, chance, or at least a higher uh, amount of seconds that you need to wait until you can use it again? Is that the penalty if you don't stay stationary? I wonder what that what that what that actually means. This this lar this last part right here. Okay, so six to eight meter range within a 180 uh, degree cone. So that's basically forward. But six to eight meters, that's not a lot, though. That's really close combat. 0 0.3 seconds to charge with a five seconds recharge. So you can basically throw this thing every every five seconds. Dealing a high amount of physical damage with 50% shield penetration to each foe in a 180 degree arc only affect foes within 6 to 8 meters. Okay, not really happy about this. Uh, if it was like 15 meters, like 10 to 15 meters, then this thing would be awesome. But 6 to 8 meters is really close. I mean, obviously you guys can like group enemies. There are, there are a bunch of um, skills and abilities these days to group enemies. But you really need to be close. And you can basically throw this thing. And I wonder if it actually um, has an amount of enemies it can hit before it actually fades out. Let's say I have like... Two enemies, basically it's going to hit both of them. But what if I have like seven enemies grouped up together? Is it going to hit all of them? Really good questions. Hopefully you guys are going to get the same answer in this video. Um, skill that affect this ability. Kit performance that is going to improve all kit modules. That is nice. Let me equip that as well. And the last one, what is this? The Agony Field Generator. More details. 
Deploying agony field generator, a fixed position generator that projects the enorm enormous dome of agonizing energy. This dome shrinks slowly over time and enemies touch this dome take phaser damage as long as they remain in contact okay so basically group enemies throw this thing in there and <laughs> and basically watch them die <laughs> okay nice so they need to be within that contact so paradox bomb or what was the other one that group enemies together I don't know. There was another one that actually, you know, uh, just like Gravity Well for space, uh, it's like the same deal in ground that actually um, pulls enemies to a single location from, you know, from all rounds. So let's use that in conjunction with this agony field. <laughs> Basically, just watch enemies die and be agonized in torture <laughs> just enjoy the show <laughs> so target self 1.25 seconds to charge 1.25 to activate so that's two and a half seconds that you have to wait with a recharge of 37.9 seconds so basically once every 40 seconds ish Creates a 36.5 meter radius uh, agonizing agonizing agony sphere for 20 seconds which strikes over which shrinks over time dealing 269.5 phase damage 100 shield penetration each seconds to the enemy touching the dome 36.5 meters that's that's a huge shield or that's a huge uh, radius that's a really big dome wow we are definitely going to equip that so those were all of the kit badges and i am sorry <laughs> sorry that you guys are pming me and i'm not responding i'm not being a really uh bad person right now let me just keep it nice for youtube uh i'm not being i'm not being a bad person but i just you know sometimes i really don't have time uh okay so moving on to the emperor's sword right here the Emperor's Sword is a masterful honored weapon that is meant for more than just ceremony. Cutting down enemies in combat with this weapon will inspire those that fight alongside you. <laughs> nice. Um, and will help bring out the inner Terran of the wielder. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is, I like that. That's really cool. Um, backstory of this thing. The sword can execute uh, can execute a variety of strikes when using in combination in combined series, which can cause deep wounds that uh, heavily bleed for a short duration. It is also capable of calling the Terran Assault Squad to support you in combat for a brief. What is this Terran Assault Squad? Is that like a Oh, okay, so this doesn't have a pushback ability, so it has a primary, it has a secondary, but it doesn't have a, sh a pushback ability, and the pushback ability is the Terran Assault Squad, so you can, you can basically, yeah, it says right here, request reinforcements, okay, nice, okay, I like that, so primary and secondary, these are expose and exploit, so you can basically expose an enemy and then just vaporize him with this sword, very nice, I like that. Um, now, because this is a melee weapon, you basically need to be really close. And it says right here, 2 meter range in 90 degree cone forward facing from you. You can deal out physical damage with 80% shield penetration. Also bleeding and all that. To take any fall with this weapon, inspire allies within 10 meter for 3 seconds. Stacks up to 5 seconds. And the turn that are inspired... Or at least uh, this is what they will be inspired for. To self and allies plus 3% bonus all damage. Whoa. 3% category 2 bonus for ground. Very, very nice to all of them. To all of your teammates. To all of your bridge officers. Everybody that is in your team. Very, very, very nice. Uh, also plus 4, plus four all damage resistance rating. So you can resist a little bit more. And plus four critical chance that has to do with just this weapon, not to allies. Uh, skill that affect this ability. 
so uh, ground weapons, ground weapons have an unarmed attacks. And the next one is the secondary. Also 2 meters, 0 0.6 seconds to activate. Also the inspire ability and also the same statistics as we just read. Also 4% four, uh, 4 critical chance. Yes. Okay, so Terran Assault Squad. What is this? Beam in Terran reinforcement who will support and follow Captain given the order to beam them in. Okay, so I wonder how many they're going to be though. Uh, to the target itself, 1.25 seconds charge to activate 1 minute and 10 seconds to recharge. So basically the cooldown of this thing is a minute and 10 seconds. So that's 70 seconds that you need to wait for this thing before you can use it again. Um, skill that affect this ability, kit performers. I wonder what it actually implies with these kit performers. Does it reduce the cooldown? Because I do have a couple of... Uh, point in my kit modules uh, skills for ground maybe it's not going to be 70 seconds maybe it's going to be reduced a little bit than that okay okay this is nice i like it i like it um my character is almost falling asleep let me just wake her up what else can i show you these beams i'm going to show you in space kit module we just shown okay so these are the uh okay it doesn't actually show but there are 10 accolades that you guys uh, can strive to um, to obtain. I'm definitely going to obtain them. So that's going to cost me a lot of EC because I gonna need to grab them from the exchange. Uh, new vanity shield. Oh, yeah. Uh, from the Lobby store. Uh, Non-combat pet. The Tartigrade Adoption Agency. I don't know if you guys heard of this, but uh, there was a really big like blog and lots of stuff happening around this thing. Basically, yeah, I didn't participate in that, but there is different pets that are available. I believe there are different colors. Yeah, I'm actually going to open a couple of them. Hopefully, we can have a bunch of these guys. Okay, so we got a a red one with, <laughs> seriously, he has like a, uh, he has like a f festive like hat, birthday uh, thingy, it's kind of small though, oh look at him go, that's <laughs> good, okay so blue one. Kind of liking the blue one. Kind of looks like it has hair on his uh, on his arms. Now, I'm not going to do a demo record on these guys. So if you wanted to look these things more... Oh, oh my god, he just jumped. <laughs> uh, if you want to look at these guys, you know, a little bit better. Whoa, this one has actually... Actually has like a glasses. This reminds me of... What was that? Um, in the oh man, is this part of that? Uh, what's it called? The what was it in Alice in Wonderland? Right, there was there was a character that also had glasses that actually gave Alice the the cookie that she was she was she could eat and she was going to get bigger or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so that one is the red with black. I don't see any any like you know different. Maybe kind of there we go. So you guys can see it a little bit better. I don't see any you know any difference with these guys. Okay, the last one yellow. Where is he? Okay. He has like a um he has like a hat on top of his head. Like the the French French hat. Kind of looks cool. Yeah, the comment section is yours guys. I don't know what kind of name this is, the the hat the 
probably has like its own unique um, uh, name calling. But I'm not into I'm not that much into fashion. You guys you guys see my character it has not changed their outfit in like I don't know seven eight years or something like that. Um, but okay, we need to show all of you guys these new kit modules. Can we? No. Okay, so agonizing field, the turret fabrication, and the spinner. And also the sword. Let me also equip the sword and bring it out. Where's the sword? Sukura, bring the sword out. Okay. Okay, she's not holding the sword. That's kind of weird. And I am taking it out, but it's not. Uh, maybe here. Unhide it. Show. Okay, it's not doing that. Well, we are definitely going to showcase this. That. And what was the other one? Pet, pet, pet. Tardigrade. There we go. Squad reinforcements. All right, so ground combat. These are the new uh, kit modules. The first one that we are going to do is we are going to showcase the agony uh, agony field, and you guys can see it right there. Thirty six point five meter uh, agony sphere for twenty seconds, dealing lots of phaser damage with one hundred percent shield penetration. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, that guy. Whoa, this entire field. What? Okay, then it destroys itself, I guess. Okay, that... I did not understand that it's going to be around me. So this was basically a, a shield generator with a 36 meter radius surrounding me personally and then it shrink down okay so i basically need to go all the way to these guys up here physically be near their location and then put this thing on and see how it's going to burn burn people burn within that field oh they just destroyed the agony field generator that's not good. And they're basically going to kill me. Are you still having line of sight? Seriously? Whoa, look at how many people I got. With me. Okay, good time to... Okay, so these guys were the Terran Assault Officers. We just got two of these guys. With a pushback ability. And I got a bunch of these guys aggroing me. What is up with that? Now, my bridge officers, you guys need to stay there. Because I really don't need your help. Or at least I kind of do. But I'm going to use the uh, Emperor's Sword right here on this guy. Hey, where did you go? You guys are cheating. You guys despawn. That is just cheating. But anyway, uh, good for us to use the ambush turret fabricator. Creates two ambush turret fabricator. Let me just do it right here. Front facing. These guys should be able to get vaporized really quickly. If anybody. Huh. Come here. No? My turrets went away and then didn't actually fire at anybody. Okay. Now I'm holding my sword. Look at that. It's like I'm really holding a sword. It's like dragging the sword with me. That's nice. I like that. 
Are you really gonna come here? I'm gonna put these turrets right here. S see how fast you're going to die. Go turret, kill the guy. Whoo! <laughs> that is nice! Oh, I love these turrets. These turrets are awesome. I wish they had a little bit longer um, uptime. Because they vaporize these guys. Alright, here we go again. Let's put them right here. Now that is a bit of a issue. Oh, they're not. Okay. They basically are good. They are 360 degree though. What is... These turrets are 360 degree. I like that. And there are two of them. Here we go again. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's insane. I killed those guys quickly. Ugh. Come here, come here, come here. The turrets are still... Aw, oh, turrets are gone. Okay, you want to come here? Okay, then come here. Get inside the agony field then. There we go. This guy had a little bit of a blast on his stomach. Nice. Eh, I will slice and cut you. I will cut you. Did he just block? Oh. Nice. Alright, so the uh, fidget spinner is the next one. Let's use it on this guy. What 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 did happen? What happened? I have no idea what happened. I don't I have no idea what happened with the uh, with the fidget spinner. Oh, hold on. So if these guys, whoa, look at that. Okay, that was a really cool animation. I love that. I'm really enjoying these turrets. These ambush turrets. Especially when you use them in a... Like, trench right here. Like this. Oh, that is... That is sick. Let's call in reinforcements. So basically, security escort, but just with the Terran twist. And they, they even have like hypos and stuff like that. That is nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. <laughs> I'm just drawing them in though, so my turrets can have and add them. You wanna come to me? Come to me. Get in the... Okay, so this agonizing uh, dome, only the people that are caught within these fields are going to be electrocuted. Um, if you're not within that, or at least touching that field, there is nothing wrong. Uh, so, to be honest, the best thing out of this are these turrets. And these guys actually are aware of these turrets being overpowered, so that's... That is really cool. Okay, wait, I need to wait a couple of minutes. A couple of seconds right here, so I can use this thing again. 
right here. Hey people, what's going on? What you guys doing? These things are a beast. Okay, so that's it for the ground part. I really don't want to waste you guys time by showing the same thing over and over. So the sword is really good, but it's only based on um, based on uh, melee combat. So you really need to be up close and personal with this thing. Um, for the rest, the turrets are awesome. I really enjoy them. Come on, wake up. The turrets are really awesome. Um, definitely useful in more than one, you know, occasion. And these fidget spinners, not so much. I just saw the animation and when an enemy is within the four, the six to eight meter range, so that two meter, uh, this is really good. But if the enemy is at, let's say, 5 meter or, you know, 9 meters away from you, then this thing doesn't do anything. That's not actually a good thing. <laughs> so that's really a bad thing. So I wouldn't put any, you know, any resources into obtaining this as a, um, as a useful item. I mean, obviously you can grab it for, I don't know, aesthetical, you know, pleasing stuff that you might have something that you ha um, have seen in the, in the TV shows or anything like that. But that's about it for the, for this thing. The fields also not really useful to be honest, because you only, um, are going to, uh, kill off the enemies when they touch the, uh, the, um, the force field uh, from the from the sphere, the dome actually, and then they're going to get uh, struck by um, by the agony, agony what they're talking about here. So the only th really good thing is the ambush turrets from this um, from all of these um, kit modules, the new ones. All right, so I'm going to head over into space and show you the rest. Uh, the wait, did I show you the traits? No, I'm going to show you guys the traits in space because for ground and space, they're basically the same. And in space, you can actually, uh, you know, I can show it a little bit better than um, uh, than in ground. So I'll be right back. So this is the space part of this thing. Now I am using Argala because I needed to be inside a system to actually showcase all of the numbers and statistics of these uh, sh uh, phasers, of these uh, new phasers that we get. Um, so there are three different one as we already um, uh, read earlier. So there is one that is going to give us accuracy rating plus five and also plus five in uh, Starship tactical readiness. It's going to improve the tactical bridge officers. Now these guys are following me. I need to go out before combat is going to start. So um, that are these, or that are these phases. Go into more details. Does it has anything? Okay, so 250 degree targeting art. Now these are uh, beam arrays, so definitely 250 degree targeting art. 10 kilometer range, one second to activate. Um, disruptor damage, 9.1, basically 10. There I have like a trait that's uh, reducing uh, 0 0.9. Uh, weapon power. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove these because these are now uh, too many. Okay, so. Too many stuff that has to do with my particular beard, but this is the bare bone of this thing. So it's going to deal disruptor damage. Now these numbers are based on my build. You can have like a totally different number, so I'm not going to mention them. Also, not the DPS. These are just the standard Mark 12, 11. Oh, okay, 11 um, uh, uh, beam arrays uh, that are going to give us also inert plus 20 accuracy rating because it has right here accuracy mods. But the main thing of these things is that it's going to improve the cooldown reduction of tactical bridge officers and also accuracy. Now, these are the target 
uh, targeting linked variant the other ones are more details uh, resilient linked and these improve the engineering bridge officer ability and improve kinetic and physical damage resistance rating by plus five both of them okay very nice and the last one should be the science variant yes science bridge officer right here reduces damage taken by shields so starship shield hardness so you can definitely shield tank a little bit with this thing and also enhance uh, science bridge official cooldown and you can definitely enhance it by you know putting some points up in here nice nice now these mods obviously can be re-rollable i believe uh, re-engineer yes these are re-rollable so you can have like you know different um or numbers there now i am going to upgrade one all the way and i should have enough of these to upgrade it all the way to 7 16 what is it 15 is the current epic uh, version there we go it's already there almost 10 no i'm just going to upgrade one because this takes a lot of time and also a lot of resources, but, you know, the benefit of being a triple testing server is that it's not going to cost you anything. But um, these are the mods if you want to re-engineer them. Um, the standard mods, so accuracy, damage, crit D or H, crit H, crit D, crit D damage and crit H damage. And then the rest are just, you know, the standard version that you can, um, you know. Uh, differentiate with if you let's say you want you know uh, damage all around you can basically randomize them so we got another damage right here so that's nice um, grid D grid H damage another damage mod grid D and there we go damage all around so damage times four with accuracy damage you know could be could be very very uh, very useful to say the least um now i'm going to show the traits that we were talking about before i actually showcase the visuals right here so um as we just mentioned strongest penalty applies turn admirals find the weak points and breaking it they uh, send the fleet through the breach it releases to broadcast the enemy from within their own formation. Right. Uh, no retreat, no mercy. Minus 25 damage, plus 50 damage resistance. And uh, Terran targeting system, 15 critical severity with the incoming, uh, with the reduction of speed when you're going to get critically hit. Um, now, there is also a... Uh, universal console let's do more details on this thing now this thing is going to give us passively plus 15 percent phaser damage and also 1.5 percent in critical chance and also has an activatable or a clicky approaching agony fires a device that net that detonates upon reaching its target and uh, creates a field of agony that follows after the closest foes, this agony uh, hazard deals phaser damage and causes disruption to the starship's crew. Uh, level 66, 66 agony of uh, energy hazard for 60 seconds at the target's foes location and follow to the closest foes within 3 kilometers. Dealing phaser damage minus 25 uh, all damage resistance rating and also to the target plus 25 chance to disable um epg obviously if you want to enhance the uh the numbers right here and i'm not mentioning all of the numbers because this is based on my build um anything else the vanity shield i'm going to keep for last but this is something really interesting uh the fortune cookies uh now you need to be in in ground to actually eat these things but 
This is basically, it's going to give us a wisdom from the Terrans. There is basically a quote that comes up on your screen each time you're going to eat these things. And I'm definitely going to showcase that uh, later on. So let's get into combat to showcase the visuals of these uh, weapons. Now, where is combat? Combat should be that way. So these phasers are based upon the disruptor. Uh, there, there are also the other variant, right? The uh, I believe there are phasers. No, that's the universal kit module. That one. Yeah. So there is a phaser harmonic weapon, and there is a cannon, cannon, cannon. So disruptor or phase? No, it's is this based on phaser? This box contain a phasic harmonic weaponry. Let me just grab that one. What is this? This is based on phaser. Okay, so phaser and disruptor. Those are the two um, uh, energy types that you can have right now. So these are how we are going to, or at least the visuals of these weapons. All of them have the same, I believe, the same visual. So. And that is how they sound. Now we are getting some speed reduction. I think the trait kicked in. Um, that is my continuity. That's not a trait. But the other tray kicked in. I think I was critically hit. There we go. Speed reduction. Because I got like critically hit. Again critically hit. So I should have like a speed reduction somewhere. So. Very nice right? I mean basically just like the uh, discovery weapons. So you, you don't have the beam. So it doesn't give you like the, the, the high tone. The you know it basically pulsates. Very nice. I am enjoying that part, and for the rec for the next, what can I show you guys? Oh yeah, the activatable clicky for this universal console. Yes, I want to have it right there. Uh, approaching agony. Let's give that to these guys. Take revenge a little bit. Now these are the numbers basically uh, that has to do with my particular build. You guys can have totally different numbers right there. Keep that in mind. Um, now it is on cooldown because I just slotted it in, doesn't actually uh, allow me to actually use it, but it should be available. Does it say anything to all foes within three kilometers? Okay, so let's get a little bit closer to these guys. Here we go in three, two, one, and activate. What happened? Oh, there we go. Ooh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, that is going to be resource intensive for your graphics card. <laughs> Look at how big that field is. Oh, man. Two minute cooldown. Very nice. I love it. It is a pleasing to see that thing in, uh, in action. Now, let me go into... Um, uh, to Earth Space Dock and show you the uh, visuals or the new visuals because I don't really enjoy the light uh, up here. It's too reddish. So here we are in space. Now I need to type in uh, left. So my ship is going to start to rotating to the left like it is doing right now. Um, so the new visuals. Now I have not seen the the new ship yet, so I have no idea what this thing is, you know, going to look like. What kind of like um, uh, styles of you know of um, visuals going to have? What's going to be good? Or if it's not going to be good, uh, I need to go to the visual tab. Now I am running the Zenkethi visuals on the Zenkethi ship because I'm using the Nukara visuals right here. But this is going to override all of that. This is the Emperor's uh, Vanity Shield. So don't mind all of the blinking that you guys are seeing from the exhaust of the ship that has to do with a trait. 
Uh, um, not really interesting for me. But that's just my opinion. That is just, you know, the first train of thought that goes to my my mind is like what is going on right now i do enjoy the 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 blue the blue is really cool color really awesome here you know in the highlighted area of the ship i don't even know what these are <laughs> on my ship but whatevs um it really has some really cool uh, texture to it. Definitely enjoy that part. But it kind of reminds me of the Delta uh, visual. It has like, you know, has some kind of, you know, um, features of the uh, Discovery Vanity Shield as well. Hmm. Kind of look, looks a little bit chrome or a little bit like, you know, really shiny, like it's like polished out. A little bit too much, too much wax. <laughs> it's really shiny. Now, obviously, if you equip this thing on different vis on different ships, the same visuals are going to be applied. But I'm just using my ship because it has like more surface area just to showcase all of these, you know, structures and, you know, materials that they're using, or at least the patterns up here. There are a little bit of patterns. You guys can actually see that there are. Hmm. I don't know. I, jury is not out yet <laughs> on this thing. It kind of has a little bit of that um, carbon fiber structure to it. You see a couple of patches going to the left, and then you see nothing right here. These things... And these things as well kind of looks a little bit fancy but hmm new freaking visuals on the game <laughs> 36 plus one <laughs> that is insane they really need to stop making new visuals but anyway that is um, let me see let me double check uh, we did all of the traits the only thing that I haven't showed you guys are these fortune cookies. All right, let me just go down up here to the um, Starfleet Academy and then eat one of these cookies because there is like a random uh, message that is going to appear on your, you know, on the on your monitor and it's going to say stuff. So that's that's kind of that's kind of cool. Let me just go into the light a little bit so you guys can see my character. All right, so. Um, I believe I need to equip these and then uh, basically eat them up. It doesn't say anything else though, right? Uh, let's go into more details. Yeah, it just gives about like, you know, hit points over the next uh, couple of seconds. So that's, that's cool. I really wish they give us like, you know, a smaller amount of... Um, uh, cooldown of these things so you can basically eat them after each other look at this 20 seconds and right here you got the uh the floating text uh, where was it npc uh here uh legacy float message the terran empire shines from the prison a uh, prism of human will alien will must break uh my character is an alien what are you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, there is a different, you know, history is not written by the visitor. It is written by historians. Okay, that went too fast. It is written by historians, uh, Subjugate Academia. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. And there are different ones each time, I believe, until it, you know. Uh, what does it say? Mirror prison, uh, the veil with false uh, perspective. Perspective. Mirror 
poison, not prison, poison, mirror, mirrors poison the vein with false perspective. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. I love that. A photon is both particle and wave. Power and beauty are each are each other in sentence instead of space time. In sentence instead of space time. Wow, that's really deep. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you guys can you know <laughs> eat these cookies on your own and see what all uh, you know the message are going to be and you know probably someone at you know is going to write a wiki page about it and you guys can read all about it but it's kind of fun that they actually incorporated these messages in you know just um these as a fortune cookie obviously this has to do with you know Lorca and you know star trek discovery the tv show that he actually ate a couple of them uh during the you know during that tv show so it's really nice of them that they put that in but uh, nothing more to showcase about the Emperor's Lockbox. I think I covered everything. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun and information coming out of this channel. You guys basically know everything and what you need to strive for if you want to obtain any and, you know, some of these items. Um, you are now up to date and up to speed with everything that is inside. I still am going to advise you guys go through the exchange if you want a particular item and not like the whole bunch of them. Go through the exchange, you know, that's the more safer route. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun and knowledge coming out of it. I would love to see you guys on the next video. For now, take care and later.